What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the target playmaker trick in particular to make this backside deep post route that Michael Thomas is running very very effective against pretty much any style of defense. Now I'm in the gun tray Y flex formation out of the New Orleans Saints playbook. The play I'm in is PA crossers. I know the last two videos I did on this concept were both at a gun bunch so I figured changing it up and using a lesser scene formation would be nice for you guys now the reason i'm in this formation in particular is i want for this concept to be able to put kobe fleener on a hitch route so just keep in mind if you try and replicate this out of something like you know trips tight end anything where the tight end is on the line of scrimmage you won't have that option for the hitch route it'll be replaced by a pass blocking option so that's why i'm in uh, this formation in particular in the saints playbook i'm sure it's in other playbooks as well so you can replicate it but the only two other adjustments we're going to be making is we're going to streak brandon coleman and we're going to be making michael thomas our primary receiver now first things first uh you know the playmaker trick on michael thomas's route is very effective but you want to establish your route combos you don't want to just tunnel on the playmaker every single play so you really want to read that high low with kobe fleener and ted ginn and then you can work to the backside post route that's going to be coming over the middle of the field once you distract your opponent's user and you know they're preoccupied with those routes on the right side so the thing i like to do is i like to motion michael thomas a few steps and snap it right as he gets behind the y receiver brandon coleman in this case just to kind of delay that post route a little bit and what you're going to see right here looks like cover four motion throw it and just like that low pass and so i'll go ahead and show you guys in instant replay exactly what happened there um but it looks like cover four at the snap of the ball with four deep one guy over the middle and right here honestly if i wasn't trying to show the playmaker i would have thrown this route right here just low pass ted ginn and that's going to be an easy and that's what i'm talking about read the high low you see the hitch underneath is covered the crossing route by ted ginn behind it is not and you're gonna be able to fit in that low pass but i was trying to show off the the playmaker here and so the way this worked is against cover four usually this post route is dead because he's gonna run straight into the safeties you know this is 90 whatever zone harrison smith he's gonna break on the ball really quickly and make a play but now with the playmaker trick basically i playmaker him straight down notice how he it's not even a horizontal cut notice how he's actually working his way back towards the line of scrimmage and so literally it's uh, left trigger and then right stick straight down and then left trigger again. And, and so that's how you're going to get that playmaker option. He's going to work his way back to the ball. And I went ahead through a loop, uh, through a low pass here <laughs> as I can't talk. So throw a low pass, pretty much throw a low pass almost any time I'm throwing it over the middle of the field just to be safe, especially in mutt with all the 91 zones running around. And so that's exactly what you want to see out of that post route against something like a cover four. Now, something like a cover two you don't even have to playmaker the post route it's just naturally going to get open now against an opponent that's putting a middle linebacker into a deep third like a lot of guys do then you're going to want to go ahead and probably playmaker it unless you see that your receiver is able to get behind the linebacker which probably won't be the case out of this play in particularly um, but once again go ahead and it looks like cover four and like i said you can still like right there i playmaker kobe fleener's hitch route because i saw the middle of the field was going to be open so you don't have to tunnel on playmaking the post route every single time you can still playmaker the hitch underneath make your opponent respect it and then you hit them you know with the backside post from michael thomas so once again motion looks like cover two here so if i can get the time in the pocket as you can see against cover two that post route is still going to be effective you don't even have to worry about playmaking it if they don't have a deep a deep defender in the middle of the field so one more time try and show you guys the playmaker again if it's not cover two it looks like it is cover two once again and so like i said right there the pass rush got to me but he was going to be running free i'm going up against random zone defenses right now so if i can get something like a cover three i can kind of show you guys the playmaker one more time it looks like this is cover two again but once again go ahead playmaker over the middle of the field just take what the defense gives you don't tunnel uh, once you start playmaking that post route, a savvy opponent's going to catch on. They're going to be trying to bait you into it, so just be careful of that and just don't tunnel on it. Um, once again, right there, low, high pass, actually. I tried to throw a low pass. Drew actually threw a high pass and was an overthrow, but as you can see against the cover four, once again, he was going to be open over the middle of the field. If this isn't cover three, I'm going to go back. Yeah, so not cover three again, but right there, that's what I was talking about on the first play. That's really what you want to see. Uh, with that high low read take what the defense gives you in that case ted ginn was going to be open because the hitch route underneath occupied 
uh, the the defender over the middle of the field right here. I'll go ahead and go against a cover three for you guys just so you can kind of see how to go ahead and manipulate that route if you're running into a cover three. It's very similar to cover six. You're going to basically be doing the same exact thing with the playmaker. You want him coming down back towards the ball, low pass over the middle of the field, and that was Harrison Smith. So that's a 91 zone defender. It's exactly the reaction you're going to be seeing in Mutt. And so one more time, just so you guys can really see. And that's why I like to motion this to kind of offset and make that route not run as deep. And then it slows it down so it allows the zone defenders to sink back a little further and gives them more work, more room to work with underneath. So right here, once again, playmaker down, back underneath. Low pass so that Harrison Smith can't get to it. And you're going to want a possession catch. Avoid the big hit and avoid the route being able to be jumped. And once again... Uh, this route concept on the right side is still very effective. You still probably could low pass this route to Ted Ginn. You could also wait until this route is very effective if you wait it out and wait until he gets to the sideline. And then you can throw a pass lead towards the sideline possession catch. And that route does a great job of getting open against a lot of different defenses as well. But that's going to pretty much be it for this concept, guys. This concept is pretty fluid in the fact that you can carry it over and kind of create these types of plays out of very, you know, a lot of different formations. Um, there's a lot of trips formations that you can get a similar look out of, especially if you're creative with motion. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope this concept was able to help some of you guys out. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought. And until next time, take it easy.